Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Um, I want to do a reading for you today and it's going to be about communication is coming up. This communication could be from a person, from a soul. This could be from anywhere or anyone. I don't know exactly what's going to be, we'll see. Um, there will be only two piles. Pile one will be this stone and pile two will be this stone. Uh, choose your stone, choose your pile and let's see what kind of communication is coming for you. Uh -huh. uh, right away for everyone, someone is thinking deeply about you, someone uh, cannot take their mind away from you, but uh, I want to put cards for you while you're choosing your pile. And we will see what kind of communication, where is it coming from, who is it coming from and what exactly you need to know. Let's start with pile one. Hello pile one, whoever chose this uh, stone, Amethyst. Communication is coming up. What is this about? Who is this from? Temperance. Mm. I already have some um, information comes through. Let me just confirm, okay? Well, cards are falling. The moon just fell on the floor. I'm gonna add it here. Communication is coming. Well, let me tell you, um, you didn't speak to this person for a while. There is no communication right now, or recently there wasn't communication with this person, or there was a certain stagnation in communication. It depends on your on. Uh, who, who am I talking about? Who is this person or a soul in your life? Yeah, most likely it's a person for pile one. It's a person that's thinking about you a lot. They're, they're thinking about you non-stop actually. Yes. They kind of said with whatever happened between you or if nothing is happening, they also said about it. For some of you, it's a long lost friend. This is not for all. For some of you, you didn't speak to this person for a while or didn't see them for a long time. Uh, but you still have an uh, energetic connection towards this person. Uh, or you somehow feel them when they think about you, when maybe you see signs about this person. Maybe you see them in your dreams. Maybe uh, it's very um, like aggressive when it comes to um, signs about them. Or especially now, uh, if you watch it now, it's a timeless reading. But if you watch it now uh, during um, this uh, Mercury retrograde, uh, and this is somebody you didn't speak for a while. Mm, the communication is coming from them. Okay, you're about to receive it or you just received it. I want to ask how you may know this person or what you, you may feel towards them so you know better, like, who is this? Or maybe what kind of connection is that? Something about them. For some of you, it's your karmic partner or karmic soulmate. Uh, what comes to me is um, they don't know how to approach you or they don't know how to tell you the truth. For some of you, you blocked this person or you uh, blocked for each other or you maybe don't even have each other's number anymore. 
but they uh, have certain information for you something about information that they want to tell you yes king of wands for some it's a fire sign for others it just means that this person is willing to take a leap of faith and approach you communicate with you maybe find your number somewhere find the information about you maybe they're already in this process why are they coming what what do they want why are they coming For some of you, this person could be at a distance or they planning to come to your city or to your town, to where you are. And they um, cannot miss this opportunity to see you and to express to you that they have felt um, lonely without you. They have felt um, lost without you even. How you feel towards this person? You can already uh, have your own life right now. Either you already kind of moved forward or you already have a new connection, relationship, friendship. It's like you're not obsessed with this connection, at least not anymore. But it was difficult for you to move on from this person or this connection before it was difficult for you but you kind of overpassed that okay why are they coming what, what what should you expect from them what should you expect there will be a communication so um your spirit guides telling um, me to tell you that let this person speak. Regardless, let them speak. It's their karma or it's their way of um, to finish the unfinished business. They need to speak out. Guys, I don't know who this is. This is a general, re general reading and many people are watching. But somebody needs to uh, fulfill their karma, fulfill their wish to talk to you, to tell you something here. For some, they will express their feelings. For others, they just want to talk about something that didn't work between you. I don't feel that you need it as much as them. Like, it's their, their wish is to just at least to talk to you. They don't expect you to understand they just want to speak out it's like some force is making them to do it making them to say something to you like unfinished business here going on you most likely not aware of this that this will happen in the upcoming few weeks pile one very fast this person already um, thinking about you a lot already maybe even finding information for some as i said you already got a message from them they are very lost they are disappointed they may even have some health issues right now money issues emotional um they're drained could be because they don't receive back this um, exchange maybe before you've kind of motivated them you somehow gave them your energy they don't receive it anymore for some they may even ask you to go out with you for a, for a drink or just to you know go out and eat it may start like that like they may say okay I'm, I'm in your town can we just go and um, have some drink or talk about something will you be happy about this return well I don't see that you're happy or sad about this situation but you're willing to hear them out most likely you 
you will be curious about wh why are they here. You will be curious that because you know why some answers will lay under this conversation. Like when you when they will talk, uh, this communication may give you many answers, not just about them, but about life. Somehow, whatever they're going to say will give you lots of uh, clarity on maybe why you're not with them anymore, or maybe why you in a certain situation currently. Or why you're not there uh, like uh, where you thought it's good but it actually where you are right now it's much better those kind of things you will uh, have answers so expect this communication and if you may tell me oh but i blocked them or they blocked me don't worry this uh they will find a way if this is your reading your pile they will find a way to reach out you don't have to do anything here um it's not your responsibility Okay, it's their uh, unfinished business, their karma, their, and they don't have to be your karmic partner, but it's, it's like to fulfill a certain task they need. The universe wants them to fulfill a certain task, and somehow you are involved, one way or another. Wow, that was very strong. Thank you very much. Pile number one. Let me know in comments if it already happened or you assume who it may be. And I'm going for pile number two. Hello, pile two. Whoever chose this stone. Let's look at you. Um, communication is coming in. Who is this from? What is this about? What's going on? Definitely communication. If you see in this card, two people are having... Um, lunch let's say right in nature somewhere um, it's a break okay let's let's let me ask for pile two it's also a person it's not just a soul or um, like a deceased one or anyone like that it's it's uh, somebody in this world it's a human that's alive let's say it that way communication is coming in uh, who is this okay for pile two either you and this person you've been on a certain trip together a uh, family trip could be uh, or you had something to do together like maybe even financially because we have ten of pentacles maybe you achieved something together like you had a certain common um task to do at a certain point of time you had maybe you had a deal somewhere like you made a deal with this person or they helped you to they helped you before to make a deal uh, to buy or sell, to exchange, to do um, a common, I mean, um, some project together. I don't know. Maybe you work together. But you had something in common here. You did something together, even if it's just a vacation, right? This person doesn't want you to know that they are uh, coming. Not yet. It's like a surprise. <laughs> Uh, who else is this person? King of Wands. This could be an air sign or somebody who... Um, they're very good at... I hear they're very good at their job. What they do, right? Uh, financially, they're also stable for quite some time already. I just heard this person could have a house or they already have they have a business maybe or they have uh, something they already built with time. Uh, they are continuously progressing in that. Very ambitious person. They uh, don't take no for an answer. Listen, how you may recognize them. They they don't take no for an answer, which means um, if things are not working the way they want, they find another way. 
Whenever they need to be strict, they will be strict. Whenever they need to be emotional, they will be emotional. I'm not saying this person is two-faced, but um, they have this ability to present themselves different ways for different people or in different situations. Hmm. Why are they coming to you? Let's ask that. <laughs> they definitely don't want you. I don't know why. Maybe they're coming somewhere from afar with the world. They don't want you to know that they already around. They already, either they're planning right now, maybe they're buying tickets or they um, somehow making... I hear a grand entrance or they may be even like preparing some surprise for you. Maybe it's a dinner at a restaurant and they're like calling you like, wow, I'm here. Can we see each other? You, this is like to for you, for pile two, this is like a total surprise for you. It's random. Why are they coming? They don't want to say exactly the reason. What do they want from you? Uh, let me tell you, pile number two, they're not here to flirt or just to flirt with you or to... This is not... This is not just a matter of their uh, attraction to you. Even if it's there, but this is not the main reason. And they're so like uh, closed off, that, like they don't want to tell in this reading. I, I'm telling you, the cards are showing that they refuse. And they say, it's a surprise. Don't ruin this for pile two. At least let me ask if you're going to like the surprise, right? <laughs> No wonder, uh, you know, pile two, no wonder uh, they don't want you to know ahead. Why? Because you are a, a very earthy person. Like, you want to see actions. You don't want to see any, uh, you know... Um, situation where they just say nice things to you or compliments or you know you say if you you come come in show me exactly why you're here and show me that i can see it and touch it and feel it and uh make it make it life i hear If you, for instance, if you saying to them, right, uh, if you want a relationship with me, uh, then be the king of pentacles, any gender, right? If you want to give me a certain proposition, either it's work proposition or love proposition or any other, right? Um, I will definitely take my time to think about it, right? And if you really want something uh, from me, uh, I will definitely uh, consider and make my decision on my own and nothing will affect me. No manipulations will affect me to agree just because you're so nice to me, right? That's how they see you. Even if you never had any relationship before, they see you as a king of pentacles. There is no playing games with you. And they're like, okay, if that's the case, then I need to be prepared 100% for pile two. And they have to really believe me. Why am I here? And th that I'm honest with my intentions, right? So that's why they don't want to tell you ahead of their plans. 
they say, okay, I'm not going to tell Pile 2 why I'm here right away. I'm not going to, you know, um, make them think or not think or uh, I'm just going to make this unexpectedly but very, very strong so they can believe me. What's going on, Pile 2? Why, um, why they, they, they really respect you, Pile 2? Okay, what, what else you need to know about this person or proposition or whatever, whatever they're coming for? They need something from you, I'll tell you honestly. But I don't see here a uh, sneakiness or anything. They just understand that uh, they have to be serious about anything that they will, uh, any way that they will approach you. What else you need to know about this person or anything that you may be prepared for? Okay, the advice for you, Pile 2, not to, literally not to make decisions about this person or their um, approach. Don't uh, say yes or don't say no right away. Like, literally take your time. Because there is something happening behind the scenes. Some victory of yours, right? Either with this person or without them, but... Because they somehow it's connected to um, this person or their approach is connected to your future situation in life, right? Whatever it means to you, love, uh, career, or uh, any other like relationship, friendship. So, <clears throat> I just heard motherhood for some. I have no idea where it came from, but maybe you know. So, it's somehow your decision will affect your future and that's why the advice here is not to say yes or not to say no but make this person wait you can if if they will call you somewhere you can go but with the decision about them or what they want from you make this person wait don't be afraid to lose the opportunity Don't be afraid to be late somewhere. Don't be afraid that you will make the wrong decision. Just make them wait. I don't know why, guys. I cannot say why. But somehow, eventually, it will affect this victory. It's like you, right now, you're in an energy where you know exactly what you need in life. You are the king of pentacles. Any gender, right? You At least I see you in this energy in either currently in the upcoming uh, weeks or months. And somehow this person is connected to this victory. Even if just by giving you confidence that they specifically ask you for this or they ask you for help or they offering you something. So make them wait. For some reason, you need you will need this time. Uh, let them speak. They are coming. They uh, they will uh, contact you all of a sudden. Uh, you know this person. This is not uh, a new. Just right now, maybe you met somebody. No, this is somebody you knew before. Uh, you at least had some communication with them before. Remember, I told you in the beginning. You had something to do with them, either professionally or romantically. They're coming like literally out of the blue. It's like they're coming, right? And you like, uh, even if you didn't expect this return like that, you looking at them or and thinking, okay, I, I expected this. For, like, 
you didn't expect that, but you expected that something like that may happen to you. You're like, hmm, interesting. Uh, I'll listen to you. What do you have to offer? Uh, I, for some reason, I want to give you one more card. Advice from your angel guides, right? How this person, this upcoming communication. Believe in miracles. Wow, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why don't don't give the answer right away because some it's like a miracle. Something about this person's approach. Or in general, their approach uh, will be like, wow. And I, as I always say uh, with this card, believe in miracles. Miracles happens to those who believe in them. And that's how I leave you here, pile number two. I love you all. And I'll see you in my other videos. Bye-bye.